It's why are you in a body? What's this all about? Why, why are we here in a body? What the hell is it all about? To find our way out of the box, you got to go back to what's most intimate and what you think is you. You think the body is you. is not you, you just live in it. You were given this, it's sort of like the box the present comes in. This is what the Sufi knew. This is what the Hindus have done for 20,000 years or better. This is what some of the Native Americans, some of the Africans, some of the Eskimos, some of the East Asian cultures know. And we're just learning that now. And it may seem crazy, but you know, kids going down and getting uh, body piercings and so on have in a way stumbled into the way out. Um, my name is Kirk Reed and I got a geesh today which is that lovely spot between all those tender vittles. <laughs> I wanted to do it today because I moved here to the Bay Area from Virginia a year ago to the day. So this was a, a ritual for me to commemorate my moving here and my kind of embracing my erotic self. When I got here to the classroom, it, it was sort of like a kinky ER set, you know? And there was all this bustle, and I was like, oh, Lord. So I put my Walkman on, with, I had like Bach organ music, trying to chill out, because <laughs> it was just a little too many people with earlobes this big, you know, strutting around all tough. And I thought, all right, I need to create some peaceful energy here. I told Seth, who did my piercing, exactly what I needed, which was, I want this to be a ritual. I don't want it to be just a sterile medical office environment. I want somebody to hold my hands. I want this to be good energy kind of exchange. And it, we created a very enclosed space. There were a lot of hands on me. It was very loving. I didn't do it for fashion. I can't wait to go home for Christmas and show my mother.
there is a need to have a physical body ritual to pass from one point of life to the other, to express yourself, to be, make yourself who you really are, to work some kind of healing magic, to work some kind of energetic magic. And the only way it can be done is through a body ritual. There are other rituals you can do with your head, sitting on a pillow, doing zazen, but there's some things you can't do without blood, a mark, and pain. But I tell the kids that come to my piercing school, you're going out there and you're fulfilling a role that's unfulfilled by any of the things we currently have in our cultures. So we are here to fulfill some kind of a mission, do some kind of a job that nobody else out here is willing to do. They come in to get pierced in your piercing studio, you never know quite what the heck you're going to get involved in. The good feeling you have if you connect with this person psychically and just whatever it is they came in to have done happens, you can feel it. You did the magic. You don't even have to know what it is they need. As long as you're conscious of the fact that they are a living, thriving blob of energy with something going on in here and they need something done in their physical body to make that work, you're the instrument. You can make it happen. <laughs> Tribal idea of family does not exist in Western modernized Christian culture. It just doesn't exist here. So what we've rediscovered is we make our own culture again. This is what subcultures have been around since the punk movement, the bikers. All of these are attempts to get back some form of tribal culture, which seems to be really absolutely necessary for successful social survival. You know, we have nothing in common. I mean, we go to the, we drive the same kind of car. We all drive BMWs. We park in the same parking lot and go to work in the same temple of commerce, I mean, that's no, there's no bonding here. You know, it's when we sweat and we dance and we sing and we do rituals together that we become family. There are heroes in our culture, and they're on their own journey. And they do bring back things that are valuable to the culture as a whole, but the culture as a whole uh, is, is ignoring them. <laughs>